What is with the way UPS packages this stuff, guys? I mean, this is this. Am I am I wrong in thinking that this is ridiculous? <laughs> to have this this much box for these two things. Whatever, you know. I'm not. I'm not paying for the shipping. I mean, I am, but eh, whatever. <laughs> um. Anyways, so we've got two more uh, quick items here to add to the plumbing bag. This is a lock nut wrench. Uh, this go grows good for grabbing like the nuts on string or baskets and stuff like that. You can see it demonstrated so nicely there. Um. I figured this would fit in the in the bottom of the plumbing bag a little bit easier. Uh, you could get there's a couple different ways to grab something like that, um, but I figured it'd take up less space than like a uh, one of those giant sized basin wrenches, and better than one of those plumber pal things that are kind of real bulky compared to this. So I figured that'll lay down in the bottom of the tool bag pretty nice. And this is a pop up plug wrench, you know, to uh, grab stick that into whatever kind of uh, you know the pop up strainer or whatever in different sizes not exactly sure what the little side lugs are for um, but I know for sure these these will grab these two will grab onto almost any kind of strainer strainer pop up or whatever so there's a couple of things I'm just going to keep in the plumbing bag that just should kind of always be in there so I don't know I don't know Home Depot I think for your sake you should do better Alright boys, moving into the next part of the tool update here. We got this uh, combustible gas leak detector. This is a Chinese special. Um, good old uh, Shannon Knight recommended this one to me and the rest of the HVAC technician world that is. Um, it is a Chinese knockoff of a TIFF uh, Oh man, you think I would have had it had it figured out with this? Oh yeah, I think that's it right there. That's the the, the TIF number two is the 8800 uh, gas leak detector. The patent wore out or something like that, and now it's uh, it's free real estate. It uh, has the exact same parts and everything, just a different case. So uh, I got this for about 22 bucks shipped, I think. So pretty good deal. Um, I got it pretty quickly too, because I guess it was one of those deals where it's a uh, you know, Chinese uh, wholesaler that has a warehouse here in the U.S. side, so it only took me, like, I ordered that last week and I got it already, so. Um, so that's cool, I'm going to be looking into that. I've never had a combustible gas leak detector before, so it'd be a good thing to add to the add to the kit. Uh, I haven't opened this up yet. This is a test lead kit. I didn't know it was going to come in this nice little bag. Um, it's kind of overkill, really. I'll probably use this bag for something else. Man, look at that. Yeah. What do we got here? We got alligator clips. Are those, what the hell? Are they sewn, sewn in there permanently? What? That can't be. Yeah, maybe it can't. Oh, it's Velcro. Okay, alright. Yeah, the alligator tips there. You got the, uh, uh, the, the wire grabber kind here. The little hooks. Little mini hooks. So those are cool. Um... This one did not have needle points, I don't believe, but these are the these are the test leads, and you know these are just cheap leads, but you know they seem they seem okay. I think those are like a, they do seem to have like silicone, you know. So yeah, and those are these are kind of the multi-use. You can either use them as these as the tip, or you can use this to expand off. It's got like a banana plug on there, so. That seems to be kind of a standard go-to with the, these cheaper sets. So um, the main reason I bought it for was the alligator clips, I suppose. I think that's right. And also these little grabbers. This is a cheap set, like man. So I mean, uh, the fact that it came in this case is really unexpected. Um, but the main thing I wanted to get was some alligator clips for my new field piece meter for the LT17A there. And uh, I'll put these wire grabbers in there too. So and, uh, then I got some needle, some needle point ones, the insulation piercing ones. I got those coming, in and I, I couldn't find a kit that had those also, so I got those coming separately. Um, but yeah, that should work out pretty nice. And like I said, I'll probably use this case for something else because that's kind of excessive for what these are. So uh, that's it for the tools. And now for something completely different.
This came along today too, kind of related. It's a cop Japanese copy of uh, Mario Kart 64. Um, I've resold quite a few of these uh, to swap the backs out with a, you know, you get Madden 98 or some other game you don't care about and uh, take the back off a US game and put it on here and then you can resell them to uh, US people because a genuine copy of the US version of Mario Kart goes for about 50 bucks I think. So you can pick these up pretty cheap and get these shipped shipped here from Japan for under 10 and then I have lots of spare donor cartridges so I just swap the backs out and uh, and you know flip them make a you know make a little bit of money for it it's just to just to feed the video game addiction you know um, and then also uh, I'll offer once I get a hold of someone that wants to buy it I'll, I'll let them know that I can modify their console too and uh, um, save them the cost on the on the games or whatever so they can uh, just import Japanese games directly or whatever so uh, that's it for now. Um, yeah, that's it for now. Okay, I got a couple more items just came in here. We will start with this funny looking thing here, which is a tabletop camera stand. Works for, has a little phone attachment on here too, but it would work for a regular camera. It's going to be a standard quarter 22 right on there. So it seemed pretty nice. It's obviously pretty craptacular, you know, Chinese or whatever, but, um, it's going to do what I need it to. I'm hoping I can get some, uh, footage of me doing maybe some electronics work or anything else I could do on a tabletop, really, um, because I don't have any good way to hold the camera at the moment, so. Uh, moving on to this, this is the, uh, stubby slide drive, does quarter inch and five sixteenths. I didn't know they made this for anything but the eight and one. I saw... I don't remember who it was, but one of the... That's why I really like to watch the other HGAC YouTubers. That's one of the main things you get from there, in addition to just uh, tips and tricks. Uh, you also see them, some of the tools they pick up, and uh, a lot of ways, that's... A lot of times, that's how you find... Your, your way of finding out about it, so... It is for me, anyways, and so that's why I uh, kind of post some of the stuff I get, too. So maybe it uh, will do the same, so... Anyways, I figured that's going to be pretty handy. I'm going to throw that in my... In my everyday bag and uh speaking of which i, I got this uh, camera stand i only paid for one but they sent me two so that's kind of a cool bonus i guess i'm just going to re relist this on on ebay or whatever but uh um, yeah that's not so bad i guess and this is the uh, tool aid 19,000 wire wire stripper that's the self-adjusting wire stripper can strip while one strand or you know yeah one wire or like multi strand wire like kind of flat cable um i have one of these i got one of these uh from my brother actually he gave it to me and it was really nice uh i uh, worked really good i think it's definitely made um kind of with automotive technicians in mind um it's good for stripping cut that kind of tougher cable and sometimes they have multi-strand cable there too um i'm going to use it for m probably electronics mostly um i threw one in my little soldering bag which i'm not sure if i did a video on that yet but um i threw one in, in my little electronics bag that i'm going to take with me and then i have i bought this pair to keep here at home at the desk so, so that's it for now just a couple little couple little more items to add to the to the pile See if I can get you a demo here using the new camera stand. It's got some multi strand. Uh, it's like what you'd find inside of a PC or something. I'm pretty sure that's what I yanked it out of as an old PC. So they're self adjusting. So I uh, will have an adjust. And they do have an adjustment too. It's like a tension, but they, for the most part, they find their mark by themselves. I don't know if you can see that or not. Pretty fine wire, but it did strip all those. They weren't even to begin with, so we'll take another bigger bite at it. Yeah, that looks a little better. So, you can see where they'd come in handy. Um, that's too fine a gauge to strip even by itself. I mean, I mean, you can just grab onto it, but there won't be a something made properly for it. You just have to do it with uh, side cutters or something. So. This makes a nice, this is how you do it properly. A nice clean strip on there. So, tool aid pliers are great. Use them quite a lot. They do have clippers down here too to 
you know, I always prefer to just use flesh cutters or some, a separate cutter, but if you don't have it, they're right there too. So, so this has been great for everything I've used it for. I wouldn't use it for like solid 12 gauge copper wire and stuff like that, although it would do it. Um, this, is, this isn't really the best thing for that. There's better tools for that, but this is for electronics mostly. So I also got this guy. Uh, this is a really cheap, you know, just Chinesey new series. <laughs> um, this is a solder sucker, a, de a desoldering pump, pro uh, more properly. A solder sucker is just this plunger part without the, this actually has a soldering iron tip. It's hollow. You can uh, heat up the solder joint and suck it at the same time. It takes kind of a, it's a little bit of a balancing act to do it uh, with the two separate tools. This makes it a nice uh, all-in-one operation here. I don't know if the plunger releases, that is. Hmm. May have a uh, crib death on this one. Maybe it won't pop out until it's heated up or something. I don't know. But they give you an extra tip in there, it looks like. That's sweet of them. Oops, I don't lose it. And it looks like that's an extra tip. So, for the eight bucks I paid for it, it's not bad. So, I'll give it a try. Next time I have the opportunity to do so.